Okay, so today's video is going to be a first impressions of the Spyderco Para 3. So, a lot of you guys know that the Para 3 is the little brother to the Paramilitary 2. And as a first look, oh my god, is this nice. Like, it just fits in your hand pretty well. My hands get a little squished, but it's not, it's not too bad. You can see my index finger goes here, middle, ring. Pinky can get squished up into the handle. Or it can go on the hump, and it's not too bad. And I also like that it has the finger choil. So all my fingers can fit. Now this isn't as comfortable because of the thumb ramp. It is... Well, Spyderco is known for their leaf-shaped blades. And them having such an intense little thumb ramp. Now it feels really good this way. But when you choke up, I have to sort of move my fingers back a little bit so that my thumb can stay here. And it's not as comfortable because it keeps pushing my thumb forward. And the jimping is actually pretty, pretty aggressive. Down here, they could have taken away the jimping. It doesn't really matter to me. But this version... It's the CPM S30V Spider Co. Made in Golden, Colorado, USA Earth. There we go. Eric Glesser is on the left. Sal Glesser is on the right. That's their maker's mark. I think they're really awesome. I really like the clip that it comes with. A lot of people want the deep carry but I don't really care I honestly don't care now the action on this has been broken in by my buddy Jason I mean just look at that was not even on camera just look at this I mean, that's a crazy action. I mean, come on. You can't really ask for better from a Spyderco compression lock. You can open it up quite a few ways. So, the first is the ever so popular Thumb roll, thumb flick, index finger flick, my favorite and probably most widely used, spidey flick. And since it has a compression lock, you can press the lock. And there, there it is. Now, I've also closed this a bunch of ways. So, that's the normal way. I like using my left hand to close it a lot. But I found myself opening it up and then taking my right thumb and just pushing it over. So I don't have to switch hands. There is a great access to the lock bar. 
And honestly, I absolutely love the compression lock. Because in no way are your hands in the cutting path of the blade. And the next thing I want to talk about are the screws. I love that they are flush with the G10. Every single one of them, except for the clip screws. That It honestly doesn't matter on clip screws when it's on the outside. Now, if it's a deep carry and in inside of the This is my tenant. It's a little bit easier so I can explain to you. Maybe. Let me grab a flashlight. So, right in there you can see some screws. And right there you can't even see the screws. They are flush. That is the correct way to do a deep carry clip. So it is also four way positionable to the back on. Oh. Nah, I don't I don't think with my lighting you can see this too well. That's not too bad, obviously in the clip. Maybe you can see it, but it's a four-way positionable clip from tip down to tip up. I personally love tip down when uh, they are very cheap knives, like the paraframes. I'm not going to go grab one that I have, because everyone should know what a paraframe looks like. And I hope that my uh, sarcasm came across when I said I love tip down. I absolutely love tip up because it's right there when you pull that out of the pocket. Your thumb is right here and your fingers right here. In this case, this is a flipper. This is a thumb opener or whatever you want. So I have a rag. This is how much is going to show up out of your pocket. Not a big deal for me. I tend to love something to grab onto. But yeah. The thumb hole is actually pretty chamfered. The only thing I don't love is this corner of the plunge grind. I don't like that as much. Up here, it's not as rough. I just wish they chamfered the hole a little bit more. But yeah. So, that was just a little over overview. It was just a little first impressions of this knife. So, I hope that you guys liked it. If you want to see more of first impressions, please let me know. If you want to see me do a disassembly on this, I will be disassembling it right after the after, right after I'm done recording this video. So, I'm excited to take this apart, clean it. It doesn't seem to be very dirty, but I just want to clean it up for my buddy Jason. So yeah, I hope you liked the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. You can dislike if you want to. I'd rather you like the video, but it doesn't matter necessarily. But it just helps me know what you guys like and dislike about what I want to put out there for you guys. 